What's up guys, Larry Chen here. Welcome to another episode of Hoonigan Autofocus. I got my buddy Chris Marion from KW Suspension here. We are in Japan and my friends from KW Suspension and Yokohama Tire brought us out here to cover some car culture and Tokyo Auto Salon. But we're here at an epic shop and this is kind of one of those things where it's like a halo shop for all a86 owners, Hachiroko owners, including yourself, right? You're a 86 yes, owner. Yes. Yeah, you're a big Corolla guy. Yeah. How many have you had? I don't remember. <laughs> it's too many. It's a, it's a lot. So tell us where we are. So we're at Tech Arts. Tech Arts is one of those epic Corolla shops that you just read about, really never wonder what's inside besides the cars you see on track and occasional shots on the outside. So it's kind of neat that, you know, I get to like peer in and see some pretty amazing stuff that's inside right now. Tell us, why are we here to begin with? So we're here because we are working with Tech Arts on their N2 Corolla Time Attack car. They've recently put some suspension on and we're gonna uh, check it out. This is also the car from Tokyo Auto Salon also. That's kind of the crazy thing. These guys are all about performance. I mean, the cars look amazing, but it's performance first. And that's why KG Suchia's personal A86 was built by these guys. We've seen so many videos of that thing. I grew up basically watching KHG drive his Corollas that were built by these guys. You know, just the best motoring, the option videos. That's what's really inspired me to kind of get into this line of work. So now we're here, we're kind of here to check out what they do at their actual shop. Just outside, you already see a couple interesting cars. We got even one on the trailer here and it looks like there's some kind of drift car back there too. But it's just one of those things where you can't plan this texture. This texture is so cool. Look at this thing. Oh my God. Oh. All right, so this is the legend. Yeah. This is the one. Oh. This is the legend. Oh, yes. So I don't know what I'm looking at. Do you know what? This is a 20 valve. That's kind of the thing is simplicity plus balance. That's really the Japanese tuning. Yeah, process. that's their philosophy is make it as light as possible. Get as much power as you can out of it and just keep it simple. Yeah. It's kind of inspiring to see this car here in front of me after all these years of just it being on a screen in front of your face. Yeah. The Drift King himself. His personal car. This is his personal 86. Yeah. So, wow, look at the wheels too. And of course it's running on Yokohama Advan AO50 tires. Let's check out the inside here. <laughs> this is so cool. I like the, uh... I love the stitching on the seats. A, a hint of green. What about the keychain? The keychain is like a little uh, string, bean. string bean pod. Daffy gauges, wow, this is so cool. This is the ultimate street track going 8.6. Wow. <laughs> it opens and closes like new, like all the door panels, all the body bits. Look at the dash. So this is this is a thing that it looks like uh, Tech Arts probably does, right? This is like a wrapped dash with nice um, green stitching, of course, for KG. Wow, everything about it. I love the rear seats. They're all untouched and perfect. Uh, this is a perfect car, sir. All right, so what else do we have here? We got a couple other ones. It looks like they have two purple ones. Oh, look how many they're working on. This shop is so cool. I love the texture of the shop. Like you got these body kit pieces here. I don't even know what this is. Or I don't even know what this is for. This is, but this is wild. 
Looks like some kind of... N2 track car. Yeah. And this one's a drift car. Oh, this is a drift car. Yeah. And it's naturally aspirated. Wow, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Look at this thing. Wow. Oh yeah, drift project. Oh look, we got a Lewis here. Taking pictures. Got some ST suspension over here. Oh, it's for their MX-5. I saw it parked in the back. All right, so this is the actual car we're here for. This is the auto salon car. So what can you tell me about this car? This is the N2 race car that they run. I think it runs like a 59 at Scuba. Um, it's wickedly fast. It's just a dedicated race car. Yeah. So this is running our two-way competition setup. And then the compressor turns on. Boom! All right, so we're in the shop. We're deep in the shop now. We're, we're in the bowels of the shop, yeah. as I would say. <laughs> this, this is the actual Tokyo Auto Salon car. Yeah. Right, this is one of the reasons why we're here. So we're working with them on their Project N2 race car. And it's running a set of our two-way competition motorsports dampers. So we're just kind of perfecting the 86 setup from street cars to race cars and track cars. Tell us a little bit about that. Why is KW making these coilovers for these old school Japanese cars where the market is pretty much saturated already with a lot of Japanese manufacturers? There is, but we also make a product and have a, I guess, driving experience that's a lot different than everybody else. Um, and that's why we're doing testing with this N2 race car. We're doing testing on Dai's car. We have a street car. So we have three Corollas that we're doing testing with simultaneously to make a better product and bring that to market because it's something that we're passionate about. Um, you know, a lot of these cars and these older vintage cars now are becoming a little bit more expensive. So the budget to build a proper setup is there also. So we're just excited that we can be part of, you know, team working with these guys that's kind of the cool thing about kw suspension i've had a chance to tour their facility in germany and when you actually have a high-end race car project car street car build like this one when you order a set of coilovers they build it in germany out of this is going to sound really stupid but out of metal tubes right so I, we went there checked it out saw the fact that it's just a bunch of metal tubes and at the, by the end of the factory it's turned into a full coilover which is so cool i did have a chance to walk around with the builder from tech arts and he did have a chance to kind of tell me a couple specs we know that it runs sub one minute at Sukuba for a corolla that's pretty epic right so it's a 59 second car it's cool to see the evolution of these chassis, even though they're just, they're a little bit outdated, let's be honest, yeah, you know, yeah. but it's kind of cool that they're kind of keeping this culture alive. This is just kind of one of those shops that have such texture that's built over many, many years of gathering spares, gathering parts, gathering engines, transmissions. Like this is just all function. You know, we've been to so many shops here in Japan that of course you have to take your shoes off before you get in because it's so clean you can eat off the floor. This is not one of them, but I'm okay with that. You know, it's cool to see both. We're, we're not talking about a BMW, Mercedes or a Porsche shop. We're talking about Toyota Corollas, which of course they're getting more and more and more expensive, but it's still so cool to see like this is a grassroots form of tuning. You got transmissions all over the place. I mean, they have a little bit of everything. Transmission, they have diffs. Look at all those parts bins up there. Um, look at all those 4AG engines just lined up. Boom, 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 boom. You know, the thing is we've been so busy just talking about Corollas. I didn't even really notice that there was an S13 up here, which uh, it's so cool too. They have their little fab area back here. Oh my God, look at this. Just a bunch of arms. <laughs> ITBs laying around all over the place. I don't think I've ever seen a shop like this in the US. 
You got a bunch of motors just sitting on stands here. Look, look at that cute little guy. Wow, bunch of scrap metal. This is their machine shop area. Oh my God, bumpers galore too. Oh, and rear seats. Look at that old race suit. Intake manifolds. <laughs> I just could not imagine going through all this stuff. I mean, it's almost like one of those things where if they brought a car here with bare chassis, I feel like they could just take all these parts from all over here and then just assemble a complete running, perfect zero mile car. Bunch of gear sets, books, spindles, ECUs, rear ends. Oh, wow. This is crazy. We got a 1J here. Oh my God, this is insane. All right, so now we're in the showroom up here. There's so many legendary things here. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my God. All the display cases, um, a brand new dash, all these little parts for A86s. It's pretty cool to me to see like that they specialize in one thing and that's it. That's all they do. That's what they're famous for. There you go. I shot that last year at Seattle of Die. That's a KW ad. That's super cool. Oh man, that's unbelievable. What a cool place. This view is crazy. I mean, how much more stuff could you fit in this space? I think we could fit more. All right, so Mr. Kamada-san showed up of Tech Arts. Thank you so much for having us. Good job. This place is so cool. Very, very cool. I love it. Um, so we did have a chance to walk the show a little bit. And uh, Kamada-san was actually telling me that this dry sump system is a system that he's making and that they're actually going to sell and mass produce which is pretty cool, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Chris needs one for his 86. This is a 7AG, correct? 7AG making 275 horsepower. Yeah, 275 horsepower. What is the red line on this? Okay. Uh, 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 9,300. Okay, so 9,300 red line. This has got to sound so good. I could not imagine. So what's your time at Fuji Speedway? Fuji? Yeah. Fuji is 1 minute 53 seconds. Oh, really? 153, under two minutes at Fuji is crazy. Oh, 54. Five, okay. That's still fast. Well, I'll tell you what, under two minutes at Fuji Speedway is absolutely insane. The other day we were um, driving uh, Arito, Max Arito's oh, simulator, yeah. and, and I barely got under two minutes in a Lamborghini Super Trofeo. So could you imagine doing under two minutes, one minute 54, which was actually faster, faster, faster than I think my lap time with the Super Trofeo. On, on the simulator. So this is uh, really, really cool. Thank you so much for showing us this. Of course, it has the KW two-way. Two-way competition. Uh, camber plates we're making for this vehicle also. So full setup, full system. This one actually is running a full coilover in the back also. Mm -hmm. So we'll have the combination divorce spring setup and the full coilover too. Okay, let's check that out. Can we lift it and check it out? This body kit is actually one off that he built for this car. Oh, you're going to sell, sell it, sell it. You sell. Or, yeah. No, no, no. Oh, 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 no sell, no sell. Just this, this is just for you. So Kamana-san just built this body kit one off for himself for this car. This is his personal car. So can you show me a little bit about the suspension down here? So we have our two way, it's a full coil over in the back. Mm -hmm. The car runs super low, so you can't fit the separate spring and shock on this one. Uh -huh. So the front setup, we've done some things differently on it. The roll center adjuster comes with the kit, and we've pocketed it here. 
So if you look at this, you can actually get in, get to the adjuster on the bottom. Oh. So without that, you would have to unbolt it, unbolt it back together again. And if you're at the racetrack or at a track day, it's a real huge pain. So that's kind of a little feature that we added to put our own kind of touches on our kit. So that's kind of one of the things um, when you do lower your car, to properly correct the geometry, you have to put these on anyways, mm -hmm. right? So it's actually pretty cool that the kit comes with this. Yeah. yeah. So we use the OEM spindle, so you have to send in your spindle. We modify it just because of the strength of the OEM one is a lot better than some of the aftermarket ones that are on the market. Mm. Um, then it runs a linear race spring. But this is like really nice. It's, it really is nice that it kind of looks OEM now. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, we try to keep everything as OEM as possible. That way you don't have issues with wheel fitment, brake fitment, calipers, rotors. It just kind of all works together if you start with a base of an OEM product. So tell me about the, so the spring setup is, has the helper spring. Helper is spring that? and a linear race spring. Uh -huh. um, then it runs our, our camber plate with a sealed bearing. So what's the actual spring setup on this Corolla? It's going to vary depending on track to track. So I don't know what they have in there currently. They're going to be testing. It's one of those things where um, they pretty much bring a bunch of springs with them and then they change it out depending on the track conditions. Yeah. And the valving setup on this one is pretty wide to accommodate for a few different spring changes. So This is just so cool to be here and it's just awesome to kind of see these sort of builds still. I mean, the fact that Keiichi Suchi's car here is... Oh, actually, can, can we see Keiichi Suchi's car? Yeah, 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 yeah. okay, yeah. Oh, so this is a sequential. Six speech for sequential for 86. All right, will that fit in your check-in luggage? I'll make sure it does. Okay. <laughs> so you're gonna sell that? You're gonna make it like a tech arts version or? Okay. Is it going in N2 car? Ooh. It's really cool to see this in person. It's just one of, it's, it's, it's really cool that Keiichi Suchia, we know he's a big A86 driver. He's a big fan of A86. And the fact that you build his car is, is just very, very, very cool. So can you tell us a little bit about this engine? The engine spec is 7H7AG with 20-valve head. え、バリキは、え、今現段階で223馬力。223。223。223。223。223。223。223。223。223。223。223。223。223。223。223。223。223。223。223。223。223。223。223。223。223。223。223。223。223。223。223。223。223。223。223。223。223。223。223。223。223
kind of coming up to the end of our trip here in Japan and we've packed so many things into such a small amount of time. So we we're only on the ground for six days. Two of those days we spent at the show. Four days were spent just doing shop tours, car features, and just really driving around all over the Tokyo area. In years past, I've gone to Japanese shops, mom and pop places just like this, and they kind of wonder, they're like, why are you even here? Why do you want to tell our story? They don't even realize that they're trend makers. They don't even realize how cool they are. All I want to do is just find these places and explore and kind of show you guys what real Japanese tuning is like. Thank you guys so much for watching Autofocus. Thank you to Yokohama Tire and KW Suspension for bringing us out. This has been such an insane trip. We still have a couple things to shoot, so we're going to keep pushing. See you guys in the next episode. <laughs>